Nori Dog and Iron Galaxy are continuing their work to fix and improve the PC ports of The Last of Us Part 1, and their latest attempt is a massive patch version 1.0.5.0 which promised numerous fixes and enhancements, such as CPU performance optimization, reduced shaders build-in time, and several other improvements. So today we'll examine and review the effectiveness of this new patch to see if it really improves the game compared to the previous one. So let's get going, but before we start, Today's video sponsor is Opera GX, a web browser optimized for gamers. With its slick design and customizable features, you can customize Opera GX with unique mods that can completely transform your browser with a single click, allowing you to modify nearly every aspect to your liking, including your wallpaper, background music, and sound. In addition to GX shaders, that allows you to apply various visual effects, which can help you create a unique and immersive environment while browsing the internet. Here in the channel, we often talk about how to optimize game's performance, but what about optimizing your web browser? Well, with Opera's GX control, you can limit the CPU and the RAM usage to prevent your browser from slowing down your games and your system and enhance your performance. GX Corner is another unique feature of Opera GX that provides gamers with a hub for gaming news, deals, and it also features a calendar that lets upcoming game releases and events to stay up to date with the latest happenings in the gaming industry. To take full advantage of all these features, check out Opera GX and download it for free using my link in the description below. And big thanks to Opera GX for sponsoring this video. Let's kick off with shaders building. According to the patch notes, there should be an anticipated decrease in the amount of time it takes to build shaders. And here we can see that with the new patch, the UI separates the main story progress from that of the Left Behind DLC. And this is really great since it allows the users to start playing the main story as soon as the game completes compile shaders for it, rather than waiting for the entire process to finish. Now regarding the duration, with the new patch, the main story shaders took around 19 minutes and the whole process with the DLC took around 23 minutes, which is a significant reduction of 9 minutes compared to the previous patch, which took around 32 minutes to finish on the Ryzen 5 5600X. Time reduction is not the only improvement, this patch also decreased the size of the compile shaders. Before with the version 1.0.4.1, if we take a look at the size of the folder called PSO Libs, where the game stored the compile shaders, it was around 11 GB. With the new patch, that folder only weighs 2.9 GB. Therefore, I highly recommend deleting the PSO Libs folder before updating the game, to save drive space and to prevent any potential issues with shaders. The patch note mentioned up to Optimized code to improve global CPU performance. And here in this CPU limited scene, we can see that the CPU usage is slightly lower compared to the previous version, and the performance on average is a little bit better. But on other areas, like here for example, the difference can be bigger. And when it comes to the GPU performance, here in this scene, we can see that the performance is pretty much similar. And if you notice, the VRAM usage is a lot lower compared to the previous patch. As the patch note mentioned, reduced VRAM impact of texture quality settings, allowing most players to increase their textures. So here I did a test with high environment and character textures at native 1440p, and we can see that the new patch significantly reduced the VRAM usage, and as a result, the game does not try to compensate by using more RAM, which prevent the performance drop unlike the previous patch. One other area that has seen improvement with the new patch is loading time. By loading the same save file in both versions, we can observe that with the new patch, the save loads in 30 seconds, which is a notable enhancement compared to 1.0.4.1, where the save loads in 1 minute and 23 seconds. This new patch also added a new graphics setting, which is Effects Density. This one adjusts the density and number of non-critical visual effects. And here we can see that visually, only very low looks difference, with less raindrops that show no interaction with other surfaces, while low, medium and high look and perform similarly. And going from very low to low, medium and high drops performance by around 11%. 
Another setting that was added before in patch 1.0.4.0 and I didn't cover it last time, which is ambient character density. This one controls the density of non-essential characters. Here in the new patch, they have added a very low option. And here in this comparison between the options with DLSS performance mode to stress the CPU, you can see that going from very low to low drops performance by 4%, to medium 8% and to high 13%. So here if you have a weaker CPU, CPU, I recommend lowering this one even though scenes like this with a lot of NPCs are rare to see in this game. So this is yet another significant patch released within a short period of time following the previous 1.0.4.0 and it's great to see that Naughty Dog and Iron Galaxy are doing great job as the game is getting better and better with every patch. The CPU performance is good now, textures and VRAM issues are all fixed and users with 8GB GPUs at 1440p or even lower at 1080p can enjoy the game with good quality textures and stable performance. And the game is finally in the state it should have been on day one and right now i want to hear from you guys especially those with weaker cpus a lower amount of vram have you noticed any big improvements with these newest patches let me know down in the comments below thank you so much for watching and for your time if you enjoyed the video leave a like and if not leave a dislike don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for any future videos and hopefully i'll see you all in the next one